Once again, life is about to make a dramatic shift. And, and I think I'm ready for it. Boy, was it a great, great week uh, spending time with my uh, oldest daughter, Hannah, and her family in Charlotte, North Carolina, and get to see, spend time also with my youngest daughter, Sierra, and uh, he, her husband was also there before he had to go back to for work. Uh, so it's just great to see everybody. And Liam, my grandson, amazing. And the uh, uh, this the granddaughter that is on the way is evidently doing well. Hannah's even managing it pretty well, from what I understand. You know, I don't need to be asking a whole lot of particular questions about such things, but. Evidently, uh, they're they're doing well, and wow, uh, I'm doing a little bit of catch up because I I didn't I did some design work while I was gone just a little bit, but uh, didn't try to do any projects really while I was gone, and so I've got some stuff here that I thought I was going to put in a like a long weekly vlog thing, but you know that experiment turned out to be like an hour and a half. It was too long, so. I broke I broke it up into some smaller pieces uh, for the the weeks that followed, and so this some of this stuff is from a, a week or two back, um, but it's some stuff that I'm really really glad I got to work on, and not just the projects themselves, but actually the process of getting the projects done was also maybe even in some ways more important than the the, the projects. Although the first of the, the coasters that I did just was a thrill and a half, and uh, they turned out great. I hope you think so, and I'd love to have your comments in the uh, in reply, in response. Um, the but I I'm getting I I'm getting uh, process uh, methods down so that it increases the efficiency, cuts down on production time. Uh, potentially, you know, makes it possible for me to maybe not make more money, but be able to charge less uh, if I get to that point with uh, without really c undercutting myself too much. So uh, anyway, that's all very vague, of course. Sorry, but uh, take a look at this and uh, see what you think. And I'd love to, again, love to have your uh, feedback on it. And I look forward to seeing what I can do this uh, as we go forward, but I got to tell you, I'm a little nervous isn't quite the right word, uh, unsure maybe. I, I'm just a little up in the air about starting this new job on Monday because I'm going to immediately be in a six-day-a-week overtime situation, which is great to get started, but I've got so much work to do uh, on projects and just plain getting the garage so that Carol can get in it and all that stuff. So I've got to take bite-sized chunks of this. I, I, I'm not going to have full days or weeks to spend on trying to get things organized now. So I've got to pick out little pieces and start trying to eat the elephant one bite at a time. And man, it's more like a herd of elephants thinking about trying to get that garage sorted out. Plus the storage units and all that stuff. It's it's a it's a lot. But anyway, please take a look at uh, I should say, blessed and grateful. All of these are good problems. I've got too much wood. I've got too many tools. I've got uh, I've got too much stuff. I I've got uh, too much uh, work time and 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 time and a half overtime pay. And yeah, these are all you know just nightmare circumstances. No, this is, this is all such a, such a blessing. And I just have to, I have to manage it. And one of the things I have to do is make sure that I'm trying to get good responsible rest so that I can do a good job at my paying gig for the guys that I'm going to be working for. So with that uh, in mind, I, I hope to get to keep doing some of the, uh, the project stuff because the craft fair that I'm get to be a part of is coming up and I really want to have some stuff ready for that. So, uh, in the meantime, please watch this video, see what you think. And, uh, note that 
what you see here is me in the still in the learning process of how to use the equipment well, how to maintain the equipment, how to set up the projects that I work on in the to make in the most efficient use of time and energy and product and and materials and all of that. And I think I'm making progress and uh, I am really thankful for all that. And I'm about to start a whole new chapter uh, that I thought was going to be a different chapter. And I hope you're, I, I think it's going to be amazing no matter what happens. And I hope you're going to have a great week too. Thanks very much. I've got another of these uh, Van Morrison uh, quote prints here going and I've changed the settings the the other one that was a photo image uh, replica I actually ran twice because the settings were just too light so I've adjusted the settings here slowed it a bit and raised the power a bit and this appears to be a very good combination of course I'm trying to show it uh, not inside the red screen uh, when it's done and I uh, but from what I can tell here it's really looking good yeah lots of uh, useful practical worthwhile things to do here's the next one that I'm trying and I want to get started on using different materials so I don't just get totally stuck in a rut I, I haven't even used the 3d printer yet because I let myself get intimidated by these things sometimes and so I'm going to try to work on these slates. Even if I mess them up, uh, it's going to be okay. Watch the video uh, that I should link in the description as a sign of respect. Uh, hopefully I will follow through and do that. But this is a slate that's got a four pack from Amazon and the video suggested spraying a clear coat. Uh, on it so I'm gonna do that and then I want to also put my logo on the bottom now this is just gonna be for family because it's gonna be a copyrighted college uh, logo the two colleges my daughter and son-in-law went to I, I'm going to uh, put that on but just as a gift so that there's no money changing hands it's just uh, something to recognize their hard work and their graduate degrees so the way I can test this is I'm going to put my logo uh, on the uh, backs and uh, I'm going to clear coat the backs too. That's why I've got the uh, tape over the rubber pads. I'm going to put my logo on the back so I can test out the settings and if I need to change it, I will. And if I don't quite get it centered, I will, but I'm planning on making a jig for that. That is the third or fourth thing on the to-do list for today after this other stuff is done. Fifth thing, probably, if I count uh, putting the clear coat on, which you probably need a couple of coats on each side. So, this is what they look like, and I've got the uh, masking tape ready to go. So, oh, and this one I still need to, I was going to do all of this, and then I thought, no, wait, I want, my, I want the company logo on this. So, I am just took it down to this size. Let's see. I'm very, very interested to see how this turns out. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, I am really glad with how this idea for using the cutout as a template so that things can also be done on the back. Uh, it's really working out well, and I really do like how these settings help this turned out, turn out. I, I am going to sand a little bit over the lettering uh, so that uh, we get that little shadow, little uh, creosote shadow off of there. Uh, and that's a nice, got a little bit of an engraving feel there. And here, no, I'll mention another thing while I'm at it. I, I've been making these little uh, template pieces out of scraps so that I can set a, a piece on it and basically know that if I if I get corner to corner, I'm going to be in the right spot to run multiple things. These will be actually, I'm going to keep this as a jig for uh, uh, something else I have in mind as well. This, or Otherwise, this would just be a piece of uh, waste, uh, but uh, I think that's going to be a useful jig too. 
maybe I need a little more sleep. I'm having a little trouble talking, if you couldn't notice. Thanks for sticking with me. Okay, I had a, a nine square grid wood classic comic book panel structure here would fit in the cutting area and on the piece that I had as a, a layout for the template. And I thought at first, well, you know, they come in packs of four, so, you know, is that going to work? I mean, it's going to be helpful. And I just realized it really is uh, because of the way I set up the uh, burns. So here's how the Wake Forest logo is coming out. And this is just on the wood, right? I'm, I'm going to try and do the uh, uh, stone here in a little bit. But the nice thing is... I ha I'll show on, this, on the uh, setup screen, yeah, if I don't totally mess up the location. Okay, crisis uh, resolved. Uh, I usually was flipping it right in the same spot, but this has its advantages, which I will show you in a second. In the meantime, let me say, this little template in the corner uh, that gets this piece into very close to the edge of the actual cutting line uh, is is turning out to be really great and I'll show you what I mean by this on the screen so notice that this these lines are right down here but I can't just put it in the machine and it cut there I needed to get the measurement for where the, the actual border of the cut area uh, was showing up and so that little jig in the corner is helping me square that up. Okay, so here's the here's the point I want to make. Uh, the I can cut these pieces here, and that you know that is very useful. But I want to also put something on the back. In this case, the uh, company logo and a production date. Now, if I do it all in the same place then I have to move these out or make sure that they're not selected when this is selected it, it's it's a rigmarole it's not I mean it's amazing what it can do but it is uh, kind of uh, time and detail intensive and it's easy to make a mistake but what I can do is actually put so I've got these four as the cut areas then I can put one two three four of the production or the company logos in the center on these four and just put these four uh, stones when they're etched upside down in those four spots and select those run them and uh, I don't have to move anything out of the middle so I can actually copy these two over here now and then put one two three four of the company logo and I can I'll be I'll be ready bing bang boom let me show you what I mean uh, it might be a little hard to see let's see if I can make that just a touch bigger here okay so you can see that we got the kind of rotating light showing that that is selected. So I've got one, two, three, four, and they are selected, and I've got cut selected graphics on. So that's the only thing that's going to cut. And I've got one, two, three, four in place. Let's put the company logo and production date on the back. This isn't the best angle, but uh, while I'm still getting video, I wanted to show that this is how, this is the machine in process here. And we'll come back to see the finished project, product. Okay, I had a, a nine square grid wood classic comic book panel structure here would fit in the cutting area and on the piece that I had as a, a layout for the template. And I thought at first, well, you know, they come in packs of four, so, you know, is that going to work? I mean, it's going to be helpful. And I just realized it really is uh, because of the way I set up the uh, burns. So here's how the Wake Forest logo is coming out. And this is just on the wood, right? I'm, I'm going to 
try and do the uh, uh, stone here in a little bit. But the nice thing is, I ha I'll show on this on the uh, setup screen. Yeah, if I don't totally mess up the location. Okay, crisis uh, resolved. Uh, I usually was flipping it right in the same spot, but this has its advantages, which I will show you in a second. In the meantime, let me say this little template in the corner uh, that gets this piece into very close to the edge of the actual cutting line uh, is, is turning out to be really great. And I'll show you what I mean by this on the screen. So notice that this these lines are right down here, but I can't just put it in the machine and it cut there. I needed to get the measurement for where the, the actual border of the cut area uh, was showing up. And so that little jig in the corner is helping me square that up. Okay, so here's the, here's the point I want to make. Uh, the... I can cut these pieces here and that you know that is very useful but I want to also put something on the back in this case the uh, company logo and a production date now if I do it all in the same place then I have to move these out or make sure that they're not selected when this is selected it, it's it's a rigmarole it's not I mean it's amazing what it can do but it is uh, kind of uh, time and detail intensive and it's easy to make a mistake but what I can do is actually put so I've got these four as the cut areas then I can put one two three four of the production or the company logos in the center on these four and just put these four uh, stones when they're etched upside down in those four spots and select those run them and uh, I don't have to move anything out of the middle so I can actually copy these two over here now and then put one two three four of the company logo and I can I'll be I'll be ready bing bang boom let me show you what I mean uh, it might be a little hard to see let's see if I can make that just a touch bigger here okay so you can see that we got the kind of rotating light showing that that is selected. So I've got one, two, three, four, and they are selected, and I've got cut selected graphics on. So that's the only thing that's going to cut. And I've got one, two, three, four in place. Let's put the company logo and production date on the back. This isn't the best angle, but uh, while I'm still getting video, I wanted to show that this is how, this is the machine in process here. And we'll come back to see the finished project, product. Let's check out the results here. Okay. And yeah, let's put a little light on it. All right, maybe not right now. So, what will remain to be seen is whether or not these are the right settings for stone. I, I don't know that yet. If this is going to etch well in the slate, or if I'm, I, I'm going to start with these settings, but if I need to increase the power or take down the speed, either one, I can on a second pass, and then I'll adjust the uh, things from there. But, uh, and I'm doing an offset fill, so it's almost like it's... Um, three-dimensional here with the with the way the pass works it uh, almost looks like it's well carved out of stone so it'll be interesting to see if I get any of that effect uh, with the actual slate all right let's look at that is Brunel University and this is the Wake Forest logo and I kind of like both of those. Now, uh, my daughter went to Bernal for her 
occupational therapy masters and my son-in-law went to Wake Forest for his uh, 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 MBA and as much as I tried to get the size to match up the you can see the BU does look a little bigger than the Wake Forest they'll just have to sort that out between themselves it's just the way it's laid out that's 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 all I can say it's all I can do <laughs> love you guys uh, I think maybe the uh, clear coat has had time to dry out in the heat and so it's almost time to burn these before I go do this uh, power washing job I've got for this afternoon and boy this would be a great result if I can get this worked out today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change the level. These are a little bit higher but just barely so I'm gonna try one first and see how it turns out and then I'll see if I need to change settings and I'll try changing settings and then uh, I should be able to do two at a time to finish up but it, it is nice interesting it's got kind of a little gloss on it and it'll be interesting to see what comes off okay uh, and now I've got to take the uh, masking tape off of course get that out of the way it, it doesn't leave a perfect finish but I also get to say here these are not going to be like dead center perfectly uh, on the, the, the block because they're each of the pieces is a little off sized and there's angles on the where the the slate starts to cra uh, crack on the edges or whatever so Maybe I'll, there'll be a day when I get to, like, super precision on this, but this is not that day. And so I'm also not going to worry about the slight difference in coloration because I didn't want to put the... Now, oh, it just occurred to me, I could get those dots, like little uh, uh, price marking dots, and I probably could get a set that are exactly that size. Hey... And then I could get a little better uh, fill around the edges. That is what I need to look for next. Uh, hello, Dollar Tree. See you soon. Okay, let's actually, let's try this one because I get good light on that. So I'm going to try this one and see how it comes out. And if I need to do it a second time, I will. And then I'll change the settings to, to try another one and see how that goes. And then hopefully do two at a time on the last one. Uh, that's the plan. Let's see what changes in this plan, as so many of mine often do. All right, the offset fill setting is 75 millimeters a minute speed and 33% power. Let's see how that does. Well, it hasn't blown up yet. I don't know what I was expecting. Not that it would blow up, but I'm always nervous about it something that's harder surface than wood all I can see is that T that's sticking out and I'm I think I'm loving this already oh this is out of focus but this is looking fantastic look at that Wow yeah that now I when it was cutting I thought it was actually cutting deeper than it turned out but I don't know that it needs to be any deeper, especially if I'm going to put a little another uh, coat of um, uh, another clear coat on it to try and seal it. Uh, boy, oh boy, that is something else. Let's see if I can get a little closer. And not lose the focus. Yeah. It's just got just enough of, you know, little imperfections that make it look like it's, you know, handmade. Uh, I was a little worried about the K uh, being able to be legible, but that's nice and clean. I think those settings are good. Now, I may do one on a little higher power to see if that makes a big difference, but... Why? I think 7533 is definitely usable. 
on this slate. Now it's going to vary on all kinds of things. I don't know what it would be on acrylic, for example. Uh, and this is on 60 watt. Uh, so one more thing, it really smelled weird when I opened this up, and that's something in the video that I hope I have remembered to link in the description. Uh, they had an open air uh, cutter, had to wear the protective glasses while it was working and all that kind of stuff. And I've got an exhaust fan here. I, th I, they were concerned that maybe they were, you know, breathing in some dust. They didn't have a mask on. I don't think that, I think the exhaust fan is helping with that. And if I just let everything set for a couple of minutes after it's all done, that would probably be better too. But let's try this one next. And I'm going to take it to, say, let's say, 60% power and see what the difference is as a way to decide what the final thing will be. I, I am thrilled with this as a first start, first try. Well, more dust was definitely made. Let's see how these two things clean up. little damp cloth here. Oh my, that just looks so good. I don't know if I can tell that much of a difference. I will take a look and decide what the master setting will be and let you know on the other end. Boy, oh boy, it's just great. All right, let's do these. this top two. This is going to be approximately an 8 minute, 15 second burn. And I decided that 60 power, 60% 60 power is the way to go because the 33 was fine, except it almost looked like it was just a sticker on the stone. And the 60 power actually got into it, grooved it out a little bit more. So going with that and here we go it's going well all right just realized um, something else I need to take into account this is the uh, focus guide and we've got engraved cutting thicknesses of basswood one to three millimeters now none of the, all the others just say cutting and I realized that because of this bevel, kind of bevel on the side, the up, the back, the bottom of these sits down lower than what's going to be showing here. And so, I don't know if you can tell, that's, that's probably on the, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty close. It's not even the uh, second step, but it's between the second and the first. I don't know how that's going to turn out. So what I'm going to do is one of each of the designs at this level and then if if I have a question about it I'm going to go to this top level especially if it seems like it's not as fine a line as precise a line we'll go up here I really want these to match but this is worthwhile to, to check and see if there's a, a way to improve the setting. So we're going to start out where it was at before and see what that does and then we'll try the other one. I did figure out something to do for some extra um, ventilation. I do have a, an air cleaner and I should have had that turned on. But what I realized was that I can open it slightly and close it and hit the home button and the home actually turns the fan on again so if I let it cycle through the fan all the way then it stops and then I hit the home it will cycle the air again so getting two attempts to clean it out well here we go it does kind of smell like a rock quarry in here right now Oh man, I think that is so nice. Wow. All right. 
there's a little more it's a little more involved here yeah well what a blessing these came out so nicely now if I'm going to do another clear coat I really need to get the air compressor going and get all the dust off that I possibly can but you know I think that setting is good I don't know if I can get a focus all the way down Let's see here Boy, that, that sliver, it's just amazing, the precision of this. And it does kind of give it a beveled look, kind of a, a carved look. Well, I don't think I'm going to change the settings. I think we're going to go with this. Fantastic. Blessed and grateful. If you've got thoughts about this, I would love to hear them, because this, this is literally the first time I have ever attempted to do this and uh, boy maybe there's some ways to improve it that I just have not you know haven't occurred to me I'm pretty happy with this but I if it can be better I'd love to know uh, what would you like to see on one of these things I'm looking up little quotes about uh, refreshing with uh, a drink and that kind of stuff and I, I wonder if you got some ideas for quotes it'd be great if you wanted to put something in the uh, comments about that Please like and subscribe also if you haven't already. Thank you.